Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another favorites video for you guys and for today's video of course I'm going to be going through my favorites for the month of April. I have been doing these favorites videos for I think two months now and it's definitely been something different that I've incorporated to my channel. Like I've mentioned before I've made sort of this promise to myself in the beginning of the year that I was going to start showing my face more on camera which I haven't done like really. So this is kind of one of those videos that will get me more out there and get me kind of out of my comfort zone. So if you have any other video suggestions with me in front of the camera, go ahead and let me know. Um, but today it's I think a more casual video because I'm sitting here on my bed and ready to share my favorites for the month of April with you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to be going in order as to the different categories that I've typically been going by. So the first one, I have my planner here by the way is my planning slash organization category. Now I don't have that many things for this month and I think the biggest reason is because I didn't really organize as much as I would want to in the month of April. Every month has been very busy the past couple of months because I've had so many other things to do and I didn't really get down to like organizing my desk drawers which is like a big thing that I want to do. So I only have like one if not like two planning slash organization favorite items for this month so the biggest one that has the other favorite of mine would be my planner caddy now if you guys don't know what my planner caddy is or how it looks like i do have a video i just uploaded it last week all about what is inside of my planner caddy and kind of how i organize all of my stickers and planning supplies that i typically use when i am planning so if you guys have not checked out that video i will go ahead and leave a link down below i'm not going to bring in my planner caddy right now because it's currently in my closet it's very heavy because it has a bunch of things if you guys have seen that video you guys know but yeah I really really enjoyed having all of my planning supplies in one caddy which essentially if you guys don't know it's a diaper caddy I know somebody in the planner community started this trend of using a diaper caddy to keep all of your planning supplies I'm not sure who it was but I just adapted that idea and loved it just putting all of my planning supplies in there. So that's definitely a favorite for April. Another favorite of mine, which I haven't mentioned yet, but I definitely have been using the past couple of months especially, have been my Erin Condren sticker albums. I did bring them here because they're smaller obviously than me bringing the whole planner caddy, but this is how they look. This one actually houses my budgeting stickers, the ones that I offer in my shop, but I also have another one that is just full of these smaller Erin Condren sticker sheets that fit perfectly perfectly in here. I feel like I've talked about these quite a bit recently but these have definitely been another favorite of mine in the month of April and I can't wait to because what I've been doing is I've been tearing up some of my smaller Erin Condren sticker albums and just putting the sheets in here and I think that's kind of a better way to have them at arm's reach and kind of grab them more instead of just neglecting all of my sticker books because I feel like I have so many um, Erin Condren sticker books that I haven't touched because I don't really reach out for them so I thought that by having this right next to my little filming space that I would definitely use them more than I'm using them so far so that's kind of my idea with um, putting all the sticker book sheets in there. So now that we're done with the planning slash organization kind of category i'm gonna move on to my beauty slash lifestyle now i don't have too too many beauty items but i feel like i've definitely tried not necessarily more items because i feel like i've been trying out the same kinds of things in just different brands and kind of seeing what it is that i like like i've mentioned i've been trying to look for like the perfect moisturizer for me that i can use on a daily basis and i was using the elf one for a couple of months i want to say i used that for over two months that one worked out but i remember i'm gonna tell you guys like a quick story i was wearing this moist that elf moisturizer one day and i don't know how it was that paul just told me that my face was oily and i was just like uh okay we need to change the moisturizer because if my man's is telling me that my face is oily i don't know i i just don't want my face to be oily so i've actually had this for for a few months and at first i wasn't too excited about it but after using this pretty much all of april i've definitely started to really like it and that's kind of why i want to mention it so this is the CeraVe ultra light moisturizing lotion now i feel like i've used this not specifically this one but i've used a moisturizing lotion for CeraVe 
for quite some time i feel like that was like the moisturizer we would use like me my sister and my mom like all the time but the difference between that one that i would use when i was younger compared to this one is that this is a new formula this is actually the matte finish one so it's it says that it's supposed to be for normal to oily skin and I love this. I don't think and I have not had another time where Paul has said that my face is oily so I think this is definitely a winner in my book. If you guys don't know I have combination skin so like my T-zone does get oily so this is mostly where I put the moisturizer but I honestly put it everywhere. It doesn't really matter for me because the rest of my face is pretty normal. So I really have been liking this and if you guys have normal to oily skin I definitely recommend this. Um, now now the only thing I don't like about this is that the cap has gotten kind of loose. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's even like broken at this point. It might have been because I dropped it a couple times. So that might have just been my bad. But that's just my only concern that I just wanted to point out. So I've really been liking this moisturizer. If you guys are in the market for something like that, definitely recommend. So that is the first one. Another kind of beauty slash lifestyle one that I've been loving and if you guys have been watching my other videos on my channel you guys know that I've been using these pretty much every single week they have been press on nails now I'm not wearing press on nails today I'm actually wearing some gel strips but I've been specifically loving nails from different brands more accessible ones like the kiss and press line or these that i actually have right now that i just got in the mail these are from a brand called dashing diva and these are the magic press nails it says that they're in the medium shape i didn't know there were different kinds of shapes but this one has been working out for my nails i feel like i have really tiny nails by the way i really have been loving press on nails of course that we can go out right now and get our nails done which definitely always been a self-care kind of thing for me so when i couldn't go get my nails done um, i decided to kind of look for other ways because most of my videos are very much about me showing my nails and i like when my nails look cute you know it makes me feel better and i feel like it looks better all together in the video so when i found out about you know press on nails i was really kind of skeptical because obviously they're not going to be like the real thing and even when i put them on like i know they're not like the real thing but they do look cute and they do last for a couple days they're not gonna last obviously like the real thing but i do like them and i do like to switch them up every once in a while and a lot of you guys have commented on my videos and told me how much you like seeing the different kind of nails so that makes me happy and that has definitely been another one of my favorites so definitely digging press on nails the next thing that i want to show you guys which i also use pretty much every single day especially right before i film my videos because my hands get really really dry and so i've been using well i've, I've actually been having this for quite some time and i've never talked about it so i thought that might as well talk about it in my favorites video already this is from bath and body works it is the strawberry pound cake shea butter hand cream this smells so good if you guys are into like sweet bakery scents you guys are gonna love this i feel like the reason why i got this was because the packaging has like hearts on it i don't know if you guys can see that and that just kind of drew me to it so that's why i got it but i did end up really liking the scent i'm almost out of this one actually so i might just have to pick up a couple more I feel like aside from this, I never really used a hand cream or hand lotion, rather just a lotion that I would put all over my body, which that seemed to work, but I really like this scent for my hands, and I love to use this right before I film my videos, so that you guys don't get to see my really dry hands. So that is another favorite. I'm actually going to be talking about, just so we could end with the kind of beauty things, the lip gloss that I'm using right now, which I've mentioned this lip gloss in other favorites videos, and not as a favorite item per se, but just because I love this and I've repurchased this like so many times. I feel like I've repurchased this more than five times. And it is this lip gloss. I'm actually wearing it today over a lip. Okay, I don't know where I left off because my camera battery died but i know that i was talking about my favorite lip gloss it's called the lip lift max and i think this is a lip plumping gloss now if you guys have ever tried out lip plumping glosses i feel like there's one by like Too faced that's very very extreme this is not like that at all it is just a little bit it does feel a little bit minty but it's not as bad i started using this a couple of years ago and the way that i would describe it would be that it is kind of like that your lips but better kind of color that's how I would describe this and I like to use this on its own when I'm not wearing any makeup and it gives my lips such a beautiful color I feel like this is the color that I wish my lips were but they're not but with this lip gloss 
they're that perfect shade. So yeah, this has definitely been one of my favorites. This is from Pixie by Petra. So you can find this at Target. I feel like every time I go to Target, this is out of stock and for good reasons because it's so bomb. So um, that is another one of my favorites. And the last kind of beauty kind of favorite would be this one. If you guys don't know, I don't typically wash my hair multiple times a week. I can go like five to six days without washing my hair because one, my hair is red. And if you guys don't know anything about red hair, red hair tends to fade so quick. Like as soon as like water touches my hair, I feel like it instantly turns orange and it sucks. But I just know that that's the way my red hair works. So so I don't like to wash it as much as I would wash my hair if it wasn't red. And honestly, my hair doesn't get that oily. But I have been liking to use dry shampoo for the month of April. So that is one of my favorites for this month. Where did I see this one? I think I saw this dry shampoo over on Samantha's channel. I think her channel is Happily a Housewife. I want to say that's her channel. I will link her down below. She made a favorites video for either February, I think or January talking about this dry shampoo. I think this is the one that she showed and this was the only one available at my Target. It's the Coconut and Exotic Tropical. This is so good. Like, this makes me think like I'm about to go on like a summer vacation, but I'm really not because we're not going anywhere, you know, but I've definitely been loving this. I think it makes your hair smell so good. And I think this fragrance is really appropriate for the season that we're in so definitely recommend a dry shampoo if you have any favorites let me know in the comments down below like i mentioned this is like my first time trying out a dry shampoo this one's from batiste by the way i didn't mention that but yeah i've i've heard of that um i've heard of that brand like for a while i think they sell this at ulta another one of my favorites is actually one that i'm wearing today which is this tie-dye sweater tie-dye has been so in like this the past couple of months and with good reasons i think it's so cute and i, I don't think i've ever really been a fan of tie-dye in the past but this is a pink tie-dye sweater my sister actually made this for me she started this cute little quarantine project where she was gonna make tie-dye sweaters and i think she even started making like tie-dye sweater and short set i'm not sure if she's doing that anymore because i know that a lot of people actually started supporting her on that but this is one of the first sweaters she made for me and i just love it i love just having comfy clothes as you guys know i work from home so the clothes that i wear are very like lounge wear comfy clothes that's what i'm in for and it's really cute because this actually matches perfectly with the next favorite that i'm going to be talking about so let me get into the next favorite i'm not going to show you guys because i'm like looking at them right now and i'm just like i'm not going to show you guys but i will pop in a picture of my favorite slippers that i got off of amazon i believe jen plans over on instagram was mentioning some similar looking slippers as the ones that i have but the ones that i have are pink and i think they're the cutest little things i literally wear them every single day and that's kind of why i don't want to show you guys because i feel like i've had them for like two months now and imagine wearing something or like slippers every single day for two months like i feel like i need new slippers at this point so i might just end up buying some more of those but that like this sweater those slippers and like some like comfy pants leggings that is like my outfit of the day every single day well not every single day but you guys get what i mean so um i've definitely been loving wearing slippers at home because obviously i don't have to go anywhere and they're really really comfortable so that is definitely another one of my favorites with the sweater and then last but not least for lifestyle favorites it's a game that i've been playing and i feel like all of us have been playing religiously the past month if not month and a half i got into it a little late in the game a lot late in the game i feel like since this is my first time like playing this kind of game and if you guys have not guessed it yet it is animal crossing i got the animal crossing game for my switch which was one of my favorites last month although last month i was very much not last month but the month of march i was very much about playing like super mario deluxe mario party all those games but for the month of april i've been playing animal crossing pretty religiously um i've even started streaming over on twitch me playing animal crossing so if you guys are ever interested in checking me out on there for the most part i typically live stream on tuesdays and thursdays we'll also have that link down below also if you guys are ever interested in any of the products that i mentioned in one of my videos i always try to for the most part link them down below so if you guys are interested in anything that i talk about that concludes my beauty slash lifestyle favorite items for the month of april i had 
quite a bit. I don't know, these are just things that I've really been loving and have made me happy. So I thought that I would just mention them in this video, which I think this is like one of my favorite videos to film. Next, let's move on over to the snacks category. So I only have two snacks and I hadn't realized how much into chocolate I've been up until I was writing down my snacks and the only two that I had chocolate in them. Um, so I'm sorry in advance. The first one I have here are called Bark Thins and I have tried these out for a few months now but I've really been into switching up my snacks. I just don't want to be bored of eating the same exact snack for like a few weeks and so I like to kind of rotate the snacks that I have. So if you have any favorite snacks that you like let me know as well these of you guys don't know are like snacking chocolates so this is the dark chocolate coconut and almond guys those are like three of my favorite things i love coconut i love almonds and like chocolate and like a bar it's so stinking good so typically i'll eat like a couple of these like not the whole bag in one sitting at all but these are definitely one of my favorite things to eat to finish up with my favorite snacks for April, if you guys have been watching my streams, you guys know that I have been loving peanut M&Ms and I've been getting these like sharing size packs of M&Ms because I think they're very convenient, especially because I love to have a lot of snacks in my room and typically during my streams in the beginning of April, I would just have this right next to me and I kept eating them as I was playing, which now looking back at it, it's super bad. Like I... This is my, I promise this is my last bag of m and of peanut M&M's. But this is probably like my third bag that I bought so far. Don't come for me, please. So that concludes my snacks. Yes, my snacks for the month of April. And then last but not least, I want to mention what my favorite kind of songs, album, or music has been for this month. Because I have been doing this for the past couple of favorites. And it just makes me happy to share with you guys what I've been listening to and what I've been liking. For this time around, I'm going to be talking about an artist that I've been loving for years. I feel like, I'm going to just say it off the bat, I feel like me and her are like one person. <laughs> And it's so funny because I was telling Paul how I was going to say that in this video. And he was like, you guys are both one person. And I was like, yeah, we're both the same person. <laughs> Obviously, we haven't gone through like the same things in life. But I feel like I can connect with her on a whole like deeper level than I can connect with anybody that I've ever met in my life. So I really love her. Her name is Kali Uchis. If you guys have never checked her out, go ahead and do so. She just released like an EP, I want to say of like four different songs so she hasn't released her whole album yet but just a fair warning I just want to let you guys know that her songs especially this like four songs that I've been listening to religiously in April are not gonna be for everybody they're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea so do take that into consideration prior to listening to the songs so let me actually mention the songs or that what the EP is called let me get my phone in the month of April, I feel like I feel like I was listening to these four songs like nonstop. So the EP is called To Feel Alive. I feel like her songs are very meaningful and powerful and she does and like one of the songs mention a bit about like the situation that we're going through and how she feels so i feel like that's what the album is about so she has songs like honey baby angel i want war but i need peace and to feel alive so definitely check galuchis out if you guys have not this album has definitely been my favorite but once again i don't think it's going to be for everybody so just a fair warning but with that being said that is pretty much all that i have for this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up once again let me know if you have any suggestions of any videos you guys would like me to film in the next couple of weeks that's more face to face like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and hopefully i will get to see you guys on my next video bye guys i'm gonna play a little bit of the songs this sounds like me feel like so happy. <laughs> Me. I love it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs>